The show is for college students in upstate New York to celebrate the winter season. This show is performed in sub-zero temperatures and posed challenges just to have gear perform properly. We mapped the historic buildings and programmed many effects in record time to achieve this show. The Moscow Mayor's Cup of Hockey was held as one of the first permitted spectator sports events in August 2020, after strong restrictions according to COVID-19 pandemic. The fight of sports against the virus is the main idea of the pre-game laser show at the opening of the competition. During the New Year holidays, we transformed the ancient building into a fairy tale ice castle. We carried out laser scanning and then created a 3D model of the building from a cloud of points. The big challenge for us was working remotely in a pandemic environment. In a limited deadline, we worked harmoniously to create a unique representation. America's Got Talent's Christina Ray performed Lose Somebody alongside Ryan Tedder of One Republic. Gentle, soft laser programming was the perfect backdrop to the vocally superior performance. Melada Festivalen is a Swedish music competition where the winner gets to represent the country in Eurovision Song Contest. The creative director wanted to make this song a high-intensity performance with laser and dancers in the center of attention. They wanted to have a lot of static looks and lasers that not only gave room for the dancing, but also followed different dance steps to make them more powerful. The Britain's Got Talent Live Finals is one of the UK's biggest TV shows. And this year, without an audience, it had to be bigger than ever. We supplied two of the guest artists using a wide variety of techniques. In particular, using rolling shutter camera effects for James Arthur's performance.
For the Iveco T-Way new truck product presentation during the pandemic period, the client decided to perform a digital event with speeches about marketing and technical issues for the product presentation. But they need a reveal. So the client's agency decided to shoot the reveal in a studio theater and then stream the show to their clients worldwide since the event cannot be performed live in this period. We created laser banding effects for Xavier Toscana, the Remedy music video. Laser banding is a real-time practical technique where lasers are programmed so a camera captures only part of the light emitted. Special attention was paid to create Xavier's iconic X logo using the technique. This was the first video where lasers were projected from multiple angles to create new types of volumetric laser banding effects. Lasers were designed to portray characters and music from the game. We created a world of floating beams using laser banding, a technique where lasers appear to defy gravity and float in camera. Lasers are the singular effect in this video, creating an elegant landscape of ever-changing visual excitement designed to enhance Lindsay Sterling's solo performance. Third place, a laser show with added effects multimedia. Fairyland, visual sensation laser show and technology. The show was created for online presentation to maintain customer relationships during the lockdown. In this year of slowdown, we took the opportunity to experiment with new technical solutions, creating a perfect synchronism between the kinetic elements and the laser. We chose an extremely poetic song that seemed perfect for this difficult moment. As Billie Eilish says, it is not time to die, but to take the opportunity to create something spectacular. I should have known. to show that the blood you bleed is just the blood you own we were a pair 
This is a full, studio-formatted laser effects remake of a show for a former theme park attraction. Great importance was put into programming the laser beams to match the rising pace of the performance, while still staying precise. The elaborate video backdrop with animated visualizations, striking fire effect, and captivating water screen projections perfectly complement this remastered edition. This concert took place during the COVID-19 pandemic. Planetarium was closed to an audience. We made four concerts possible by live streaming it online on YouTube for free. It's challenging to show the capabilities and wonder of Planetarium using cameras. We believe it worked very well. Both lasers and animations on the dome were live controlled by the Planetarium staff. Like the second place winner, this concert also took place on YouTube using cameras. To enhance the experience, we decided to use laser effects on the concert, despite the fact that the artist performed classical music, which is rarely associated with lasers. Again, we believe it worked very well. We had the privilege of supporting hashtag we Dance is One, presented by Defected Records at the Ministry of Sound nightclubs. Various DJs played for the shoot, and Disciples played an hour-long set as part of the We Dance as One initiative celebrating club culture. Spanning several genres of music, Westfest is the largest hardcore and drum-based festival in the UK. The show spans eight hours, so it's important that the rig is interesting enough to operate for such a long period of time.
This winter music festival ran virtual this year due to COVID. Four different site locations were recorded and then streamed online for audience viewing. With temperatures well below zero, wind, and snow, each site offered a unique challenge. The sites included an outdoor roller coaster structure, an old fort at the base of a bridge, an open air storage shed in the port, and the roof of a skyscraper. The skyscraper roof had no security walls, so the crew was attached with lifeline harnesses. Search for a savior, never know when this is it. Appreciate to the congregation, club running up. Conflagration, bread and wine, concentrated. Let's have a conversation at night service. Saturday mass, night service. Saturday mass. All beams was flashing, the DJ played the rapture. Saw the lights reflected, rays. She was dressed like Chloe Sevier. Met her on the seventh day of tour. It was going off. Out there trying to spread the gospel The experience is Christina Aguilera's Las Vegas residency at the Zappos Theater in Planet Hollywood. The lasers we used liberally throughout the show, seamlessly integrated into the lighting and video cues. Each time the lasers turn on, the audience is shown the lasers in a new way. The artistic direction given was that it's never too much, always go bigger. The laser tracks for Queen are classic melody lead tracks, so big, bold looks with slow movements win the day on the show. Symmetry was key for stage left and right, allowing us to complete big, slow-moving, center-focused pans across the stage. First place, live stage show. Pete Tong, Ibiza Classics Arena Tour 2019, ER Productions. Bold and bright was this year's goal, so high-powered units were used to line the top of the orchestra with two flanking stage left and stage right to add some width to the show.
corporate client requested a laser show to follow a comedian at an in-house company retreat. The challenge was it needed to be COVID-related. This song parody of Bohemian Rhapsody was the perfect fit. Live abstract imagery was performed by the laserist using an electronic laser synthesizer to create abstract laser images. This was the highlight. In the middle of a global pandemic, a biochemist who works on COVID-19 detection and Moderna vaccine development and production commissioned a pandemic laser show to highlight our collective emotional response to these devastating events. The entire month of December 2020 and into 2021, over 2,000 cars made their way down a quarter mile dirt road in the darkest of winters to view this show for free. This song is usually for weddings and happy occasions. The story of this show pushes the imagination and tells the story of love, loss, and gratitude. At the end, the Sinatra singer has an extra layer of flicker and brightness banding to give him the look of a hologram. This New Year's laser show was demonstrated on the main square of Kaluga, where scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, the founder of the theory of interplanetary flights, was born and worked. Therefore, Kaluga is considered the city of astronautics. The show presents how Kaluga's mascots, spacemen, celebrate the coming of Christmas and New Year. Second place, Graphic Show. Neodia Water, Visual Sensation Laser Show and Technologies. This is a pro-environmental project to promote drinking tap water. First place, Graphic Show. Monster, Visual Sensation Laser Show and Technologies. A show inspired by pandemic times. A little humor in this hard time for everyone.
you don't have to lie to me. Don't fill your head with things and think you're free. I can smell the fear. I think you made it clear. Yeah, I could be rude, be in the mood. I could be rotten. I could be cool, might act、like、a fool, but never forgotten. Creeping in the dark, waiting for you. You won't like what you see. Yeah, I feel like a monster. Not the worst kind of me. Now I feel like a monster. The show consists largely of geometric shapes, squares, stars, circles, etc., that are repeated in symmetric patterns, moving to the music. Often, the shapes have animated patterns of points that are mapped to their surface. The show is punctuated with more traditional listenjoo effects to add variety. This is just a feel good, let's dance, and celebrate that things are all going to work out. This show was created to be a feel good, big, bright, old school style show. Lots of traditional FM modulated circle effects. Groups of points. It's the kind of show I would love to see in a planetarium dome. After being in COVID lockdown, I wanted something bright and joyful. This show was entirely created by a MIDI sequence effect. The song is a vehicle to experiment with non-traditional abstract shapes, create something that was half a hallucination and half a hyperkinetic assault on the eyes. As the lyrics say, the walls, such as they be, are crawling with geometric hallucinations, very brightly colored, very iridescent. I used XZ cycloids, traveling opacity mats, and animated intensity bands to break shapes up and make them less distinct. Third place, Beam's atmospheric show for a single XY scanner pair. Rivia, Igor Lysenko, an exciting show that makes you imagine an epic action on a galactic scale. Second place, Beam's atmospheric show for a single XY scanner pair. Adimus, Igor Lysenko. Music that transports the mind to the world of Pandora. A mesmerizing symbiosis of music and light.
first place Beam's Atmospheric Show for a single XY scanner pair. Game Over, Theopatritus. Game Over is a mashup of various electronic songs choreographed in laser show, all of which are brought together in a musical chip tune fashion. A solid, strong foundation carrying a perfectly polished climax, combining strings and divine vocals, became an excellently suited framework to build a laser performance around. Glamour fully lives up to its lofty name, a celebratory, radiant choreography with striking effects that allow the show to defy definitions and poetically speak for itself. Due to the general slowdown that gave us a lot of spare time, we started to investigate and study the new, beautiful laser banding effect. Then we decided to put together a new laser show with this technique. And here you can see the result. Epic Circle should be self-explanatorily simple, but in truth, it is full of surprises. The underlying grandeur of the epic is accented with forceful and precise touches, adding impulses that enhance the power within the soundtrack. The use of color harmonizes these impacts. Finally, the transition into a gentle finale softens the strong preceding elements, reaching a conclusion which rounds off the experience come in full circle. Third place, Beam's Atmospherics show for multiple scanner projectors. Neodia, visual sensation, laser show, and technologies. No statement of intent was provided for this entry. For a special customer project, 
We programmed this beam show using 13 laser systems. They were all set into a special arrangement to create some fantastic effects. The song Artemis from Lindsey Sterling was chosen by us, and we created a very powerful and dynamic show with precisely timed effects. Resistance is a laser show that pushes the boundaries and possibilities for exciting colors and movements, choreographed to a modern, utopian, electronic element. Turn away if you're looking for a laser show from the top 50 hits. Let's move. PY1 is a new entertainment concept by Guy La Liberté and Loon Rouge Entertainment. A traveling venue offering a multi-sensory transformational experience, iconically shaped as a pyramid. PY1 is filled with every sort of laser effect. High-powered beam shows, audience scanning lasers, Lumia effects, video tracing laser graphics, object tracking lasers, and more. We programmed the Through the Looking Glass and Stella flagship experiences. The visual artist, Ajan Lenatin, wanted to transmit Morse code in the sky of Helsinki. So the Olympic Stadium Tower turned into a modern laser telegraph to send messages. To make it visible for the whole city, we used two lasers in each direction to create 360 degree coverage. People were able to request to send a personal message over Morse code during this day, and it was transmitted over a period of 14 hours during New Year's Eve. Light Sculpture was exhibited as one of several art exhibitions accompanying the international conference Beauty and Architecture, Harmony of Place. The sculpture stand was designed so the laser would not emit towards the audience. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, the whole conference took place online and all exhibitions were presented as videos.
This collaboration between the award entrant and popular science YouTuber Tom Scott was a demonstration of a custom-coded rolling shutter laser effect. Seb Lee Delisle custom-programmed exceptionally fine laser timing control to create the effect of a bolt of laser light moving back and forth across the camera. At one point, Tom appears to freeze the beam in midair. When Kylo Ren uses the force and stops one in midair. But this is not being added by computer afterwards. This is happening in camera. I can interact with this and show you. So how's it being done? Lasers placed on iconic buildings were visible for miles around. They spread across the sky and also through social media, which was filled with dazzling images and videos. Participants accessed the system via an online interface that lets you change the laser's color, pattern, and position. The system can scale. Over 100,000 people have interacted with it so far. Entrance pods for the guests were created using white array fixtures with diverging lenses over the top to increase divergence. The guests would enter one at a time and press any number of keys which MIDI triggered the lasers to run various sequences. Third place, laser photography. Space Age, Christopher Short. I selected this photograph as it transcends the medium of laser art and becomes a throwback to 1960s sci-fi pop art. Classic geometric impressions, perhaps a life form. I want it on the wall of my Space Age bachelor pad. This art was inspired by the floral motif of Ajanta Caves of India from the 2nd century BCE to 480 CE. It is an experimental art in mixed media of laser, lumia, and fluorescent papers that glowed under UV light. Fluorescent papers were precisely cut to the shape of the laser art of the flowers and then attached on the wall before the final projection. The scene was captured by a single click of a camera and there was no post-digital enhancement. First place, laser photography. Bronzed, Theo Petridis. Bronzed was achieved by meticulously adjusting all elements of brightness, scan rate, and color. Often brown is a very difficult color to achieve with laser systems, and any laserist can appreciate the brown tones with purple highlights and top it off with a bit of liquid fog effect. Mwaha.
want more than eight beams, we can put like two or three to have uh, 16 or 24 beams and uh, there, will, there will be uh, no inter interferences between uh, automotive ZARP. So I will make a short demonstration about how to play a laser harp with the MIDI ZARP. So in this case I'm using USB to control it and I will use this uh, small interface. So I just have to set all beams to max power just like this and then I just have one button to click here, quick calibration and it's done. And now I can interact with each beam. Just like this. So that's very easy. Also, just like a classic laser bar, I can control it by DMX. So here I'm using an NTEC to, to uh, control it on the computer. So here I will put the channels, eight channels to the max level, for instance. I can control directly by DMX, just like a classic laser bar. Parameters uh, for visualization, so the line widths can be selected, uh, how thick should the lines be drawn, then geometrical correction like flip, flip X and flip, flip Y coordinates have already been um, available in the first version as well. So the main new achievement in the second generation is the multi-channel capability, so you can reset uh, the toolbox to start with a white screen like here, it's a clear button you can use to do that and can now um, add rows or columns so it's possible to create an arbitrary arbitrary pattern of several, well, well we call it render fields, those black areas where you can see the laser graphics um, presentation. It's possible to add uh, rows at columns and also add columns in a row and add rows in a column. Um, it may not be 100% uh, user uh, friendly but uh, you can always start over with a clear button and redo and uh, can arrange more or less any pattern you would like. So another new thing compared to the first generation, uh, the toolbox now fully supports, supports the ID and service discovery. So here we see project um, during 2021 and then other laserists may be inspired to use Unity and create their own 3D, ob 3D objects and create uh, their own room and it's also possible to configure the number of laser projectors and in uh, the position in the room. Another very nice feature is that the performance can be monitored so information about the CPU and the graphics card of the computer can be displayed in the main performance for using VR software or a visualization on better graphics cards is the capability of how many frames per second are available. So we tested that also of course with real VR headsets not just on the computer screen but also with uh, HTC Vive first generation but also on Oculus Rift or on the recent Oculus Quest, which is uh, standalone VR. In our case, it's using the USB link uh, to be connected to a computer. And they all run at the highest possible uh, performance, which can be well checked with this new performance um, debugging tool that's integrated. Oh, and finally, as usually, many, many thanks to my students who made this work possible.